All right, Big Man. Today is Thursday. It is August 11th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Uh, great show today with Patty the Batty and Molly. Excited to have them on. Excited to have you guys listen. Before we do get to it, though, I do want to talk about our friends at Miller Lite because uh, it's Thursday night. You know, you guys are having fun. You're getting ready. And uh, the weekend is almost here. So make sure you're enjoying Miller Lite while you enjoy your weekend. Um, also, they have a cool deal going on right now with uh, Vienna Beef, where if you go to MillerLite.com slash Chicago style. You can check out these uh, different events they're having around the city and the surrounding suburbs where they're giving away 500 free hot dogs. To the first 500 guests that show up to these bars and, and, uh, and restaurants, uh, make sure you check them out. It's a really cool event. They got great shirts, great merch. If you saw the hot dog shirt that I tweeted a couple days ago or uh, a couple uh, months ago or whatever, uh, you will see that it's uh, one of the most fire shirts I've ever seen. So, Go check that out. Go check out those events. They're really, uh, they're awesome. And just enjoy Miller Lite and um, enjoy yourself a hot dog. Uh, besides that, um, you know where to find Miller Lite. It's pretty much at any liquor store. But if you need it delivered, go to MillerLite.com forward slash Redline to find the delivery options near you. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly with Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. All right, here we go. Molly Meatball. And Patty the Patty. All right, so we're here in Chicago. I am live with Patty, with Meatball Molly. Uh, it's great to have you guys. Welcome to the city. Thanks for having us. What are we thinking so far? How do we like it, Patty? I like Chicago. We love to take a clean version of New York. Yeah? Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. I've had some good food. So the weather's being sound as well. Yeah, and hey, first time? Yeah. First time. First time for both of you. Yeah, it's good. Definitely a good thing you guys came in the summer over the winter. Oh, I've yeah. heard of the, the ice and the snow and the. It's rough. It's that beard, get all icicles. It, on oh, it. yeah. You're just, you just, you got to have a beard or you're just cold constantly. Oh, yeah. You know, you're just constantly that cold. wind in your face. Yes, exactly. You got to just be bundled up. Um, so, how is it now when you guys come to the U.S.? Is it is it noticeably just every time you come, it gets a little bigger? Yeah. Every time. Yeah. I think um, it's never been normal as mm -hmm. long as I've been coming to America. It's like people have just been very friendly. Um, they give us a bit of respect here. We, I think when we're in other countries or back at home, people just jump on us. But here, the Americans have been quite... Polite. Polite. Oh, nice. Or what would you call a sh person from Chicago? Uh, I guess you're like a mid Midwesterner, uh, Chicagoan. 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 So we're like Scousers, but the Chicagoans have been very, very nice. Oh, that's good. And respectful. It, that's that's a thing too. It's very, uh, you know, the U.S. You break it into regions. So we're Midwestern, and people say the Midwestern people are nice. The people that are kind of in the central. Yeah, yeah. And, and the New Yorkers and the East Coast and the Philadelphia, the people say they're a little bit more mean. Yeah. So definitely, I can see that. Yeah, I can yeah. Test to that one. Yeah, you can't. All right, there you go. You guys have a first yeah, well, hand experience. Well, on that one, we have first hand experience on that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm sure it's kind of somewhat similar to England, right? Yeah. So, um, it's like mad back home, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, I wouldn't say it's like back home, no. No. Not really. Gotcha. But like, as far as like, there's no one area where it's like there's people are a little more rough around the edges. Oh, yeah. There's that, like, but everyone looks at our city like that. Oh, yeah. Everyone, yeah, yeah dislikes where we're from. Yeah, and so that's... We're like Texans, I and, suppose, aren't we? Yeah. Just made our, our, our own state. And why is that? Why do people don't like where you guys are from? I'll let you answer. Yeah, there's, all, there's, there's too many reasons. I can't even be asked going into them at this moment in time, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the um, Got loads of reasons. There's okay. like too many to name. These are a lot. rattling them all off. Do you know how um, Texas was just like self-sustained, really, and was like, well, we don't need you. Yes. The, the like the government kind of said that about us like we'll manage the decline of your city and it wasn't hidden it was like an open fact that they just tried to destroy our city so I think we've kind of they just try to break, break yeah, you guys off the, uh, the papers lie couldn't. about the city the papers like got found out for lying about the city and, oh no I know um, that's fucked up it is but that's why we're more than fucked up lad pieces <laughs> of shit but then that's why we're so animated about where we're from yeah. yeah and you can tell when you see different fighters from england me him and i suppose darren from liverpool and we're all very animated and vocal yeah that's why people hate us for it lad because 
the haters because they ain't us. Oh, right. <laughs> as the Yanks like to say. And what's it technically called? Is, is it is it Liverpool? Liverpool yeah, is okay. the city. Is the city okay? So that that's interesting because I guess there's kind of a little bit of that with Chicago too. People say that about too. It's like oh, you know. If you meet from someone from Chicago, they'll let you know about it, and you you know they let you know how much they love the city. But it's just something. There's something to it where it's so cold here, and everyone leaves because it's so cold. But it's like the people, the real the ones, ones who stick stay around. Are like, yes. uh, yeah, exactly. That's my city. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think. Well, I was speaking to um, to someone who Paddy works with called Mo, and we was talking about like deep pan pizza, a deep dish pizza. And he's like, "Why is that such a thing?" But everyone from Chicago goes mad for it. But I was like, if you came to Liverpool, like we have something called like salt, salt and pepper, pepper chicken. chicken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like a stew called Scouse and we would make everyone, no, you've got to try this, you've got to try it. But because it's ours. The deep dish mm-hmm. was all right. Like it was all right. I did enjoy it. But I would rather have a normal pizza. A regular pizza, yeah. And well, they say like New York style, but it's Neapol- It's Italian really, isn't it's it? It's a little bit different. It's cut into squares instead because back when there was, you know, what I've always been told when it was a Great Depression at a bar, you could people, everyone could dig in. You don't get one big triangle slice, you know, oh, so you could share a little easier, you know. When I've been to Italy and I've gone for pizza, the ones that's not Neapolitan, so the thin one, and it's like that. Mm-hmm. They just like cut it in squares and then weigh it, and that's how you buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lad, you are breathing so heavy. <laughs> 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 he's like Paddy's he's, he's just, just he's I'm had deep it. dish he's had hot dogs now you know what it's like that's he's why like, he's breathing so heavy <sighs> he's gonna have diabetes before I'm we leave fat, this time I'm a fat bastard you <laughs> 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 can stick around here you'll he's be like, like me I'm a, I'm a fat bastard <laughs> like, you don't understand that like I reckon I eat more than you though easy well sometimes that's the case you know you see the hot dog eating contest and you see the people who do these comp and they're really skinny but guys I, no, you know? I probably couldn't eat that quick like but we went that we Wiener circle before, and I had wiener. a wiener, <laughs> a wiener, <laughs> a chicken, a chicken sandwich. Mo only had one bite of a cheeseburger, so and I finished, finished that it. off, and I had chips. a full ch- ch- cheesy chips, and then more cheesy chips. What cheesy fries? You cheesy okay, fries? Yeah, 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 cheesy yeah, yeah, yeah. fries. Cheesy chips. Now, will you, uh, will you eat, will you eat again? Will you eat dinner? Oh, yeah. And then we went to five. No, guys. that was today. Oh yeah, then we went to five guys after and got a milkshake. Oh, you weren't done. But like, what did we get yesterday? We had a brekkie and something called yolk. We had like, okay. we had went like to yolk and like, what did they have? I had two fried egg ba- bagels with bacon on and that. And then chocolate crepes. And potatoes and then I had cho- Nutella crepes. And yeah. then we had a Chinese for lunch. Yeah, yeah, Chinese noodles and orange chicken and rice and sesame chicken. And then and then we went to... Uh, the pizza gaff. Lu- we had Lumina- mozzarella, yeah. Mo- mozzarella Lumina- sticks, wings. <laughs> yeah, two portions of mozzarella sticks, wings. We got a pepperoni deep dish, a chicken sausage. It, well, it was half pepperoni, half chicken sausage. Then we got the normal one that they do, and a pepperoni pizza. And then we and had then we got a ice dessert. Cream, didn't yeah, we? we got two two cookie dough desserts, two big ones. <laughs> Can you keep up, Molly? Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm like this now, look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, shit, I've got to start dieting on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's what, when you guys came on to the, the podcast I do with Dave after your fight in March, and I remember you like, are you eating again, Patrick? You know, it just, it's yeah. like, yeah, you just had brek. Yeah. That, that, so breakfast Fucking is just Fucking hell. <laughs> are you just that brekkie pad? <laughs> but yeah. I feel him now. We've just been walking through um, a park down the road, and I was thinking... I went, how lucky are we to be able to just have ice cream every day and this sun in America, because back home, the weather's rubbish. But whenever you go on holiday or to a hot country, like the food's just always better, yeah. isn't it? So we're just, we're in heaven, because it's quite oh, cold, yeah. that fight can't be, isn't it? Missed something up there as well yesterday, when I had all that food after the, the, the Chinese what, noodles, got a Ben and Jerry milkshake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So now, is it because you know? All right, at some point, I'm going to burn it off. I'm going to, I'm going to take a fight again, and then I'll like level it out. Some point, we're going to have to get back on the diet. But for now, I can just enjoy myself and be the real me. (laughs) Be true to you, Patrick. (laughs) So, what are you eating for the diet? Like, what are you? What were you? Just get myself in a calorie deficit. Lad, everyone always asks, but I just get myself in a calorie deficit. Yeah. Just burn more calories than I'm eating. Use our. We have a a sponsor called Macro Chef who give us all our meals meal preps so it just makes life easy yeah so really you're just kind of showing up they're giving you whatever it is and that's we have it. the yeah. same we've had the same one for years that's Joel nice. so we um, our nutritionist Paul so see Paddy's wearing like a whoop band I normally have one on and then 
they'll know what I'll rest the metabolic rate is. Mm-hmm. So you rest the metabolic rate. If you just lie in bed and not move for the day, how many calories would you need to stay regulating? And then that's what we just live on. I think mine's not like 60 and 50. What's yours? Like 2,000. Okay. Yeah. So we d- that's the difference, about 350 calories difference between me and him. That's good to know then. You know, that's good information. Hey, let's take a quick break here because I want to talk about the exclusive ticketing partner of Barcelona Sports, and of course, that's Game Time. If you don't have the Game Time app by now, I don't know what you're doing. You should go check it out. Uh, there's definitely going to be tons of great shows that are happening this fall, and uh, obviously, NFL season's right around the corner. So, Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score deals on last minute tickets, and you can find MLB tickets for under $15 all in on game time. Yankees tickets as low as 14, Red Sox 14, Mets 13, and Braves 14, and Cubs 12. Uh, I bet you the Cubs are probably going to go down more as well. Uh, so name your team. Game time is the hookup on deals to get you out to the ballpark. Best part is you get $20 off your first purchase. Download the game time app, go to the account tab. To create a login and redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. And uh, yeah, download game time. Last minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. All right, let's hop back into the interview. Now, is it um, when you guys are back, how often are you guys are you with each other? Like just it's every day in the gym. Yeah, yeah, every day in the gym. Every day. Probably we have weekends to ourselves. Mm-hmm. And then every day, fight comes probably bring us together a bit more because of media and all stuff. But also, we're both like living the same part of life together. Do you know what I mean? He's past that year, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Sorry. Um, it's because we've just that. Oh, but um, a <laughs> what's it called? Yeah, first thing in the morning. And then we probably leave the gym about 12 or 1 and then do our own individual training in the evening. So right now you're just kind of like just sharpening skills and stuff like that? Like you're not in a camp where you're preparing for someone. You're just kind of getting better at everything? Yeah, like we still have to train just to improve and always learn. But also it helps to keep the weight down, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's every day? Yeah. yeah. It's like I, I'll be honest, I couldn't say and say to after me fight. got a big fat knuckle and off knee and I'm in the head. I had a sore knee. For a few days, so I only done my first session again yesterday. Lad. That's probably why I look extra fat. But I uh, started training every day again now, so wait till I come back down. I'll be, I'll still be drinking milkshakes every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Molly, I wanted to ask you when we did the show. Was it last week? Mm-hmm. I want. So you said that you know you're grateful for Barstool and how you know it's given you an opportunity to train more. Mm-hmm. What were you doing besides fighting? Well, I don't say. I just get to not have to worry about going to do other engagements to earn money so other sponsorship stuff and Mm -hmm. like going on shows and stuff I can just literally train and when you fight in the UFC you get to show and to win yeah what are you saying that's Herbo man yeah you like Turbo (laughs) man (laughs) I'm the last action hero that's fucking sick Arnold Schwarzenegger you know I'll be sick. Back. What yeah. a guy. You like that, yeah. Turbo yeah. man. That's a turbo that man. That was sick, that. <laughs> is that just an empty box though, or is it actually? No, that's in there. Or? I don't know why it's turned around, but it's in there yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> was that in was that big in Chicago that film? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It? it was huge. That's what we were thinking what films were in Chicago, weren't we? Mm-hmm. What's you could probably rattle it? loads off to us. There's a lot, yeah. The Blues Brothers was here. I don't know if you've seen that one. I have. The Dark Knight was here, weren't it? The Fugitive. Yeah. Seen you've, seen, you've seen that one with Harrison yeah. Ford. Uh, the breakup with Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston. That's yeah, shite. A, yeah. Uh, <laughs> shite film. Yeah, there's a lot of them. What, what else is there, Harry? The Dark Knight was filmed. Home Alone. Home Alone, yeah. yeah. Home Alone. Yeah. Home Alone, yeah. Home Alone yeah. Chicago, yeah. Uh-huh. Didn't uh, yeah. know that. The Dark Knight, the Batman one. Yeah. That was here. We were in that tunnel the other day where the, the Joker shoots out of the thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. With Heath Ledger. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Was, uh-huh. he, he, was he English? No, he's Australian. Australian, that's right. I, I, always, I keep mixing that up. That's the second time I've done that with Ty, too. It's probably because we say mate. Maybe, mate. Good eye, mate. mate. <laughs> 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 fucking good eye, mate. You fucking bush pig. <laughs> who, you, who do you, um, the people that have crossed over, like, who are your people? Like, do you like James Corden? I don't know. I'm not really fussed. I, don't know. I yeah. think he's funny on um, 
on the carpool karaoke. I Car- do think he's good on that. I like John Oliver. John Oliver, okay. Who else has crossed over quite Margot well? Margot Robbie. Is she English? She's Australian. Well, she's Australian. Fuck, I keep doing it. I love her. I, I yeah, I'll be your friend, either. Margot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, she's... I'm trying to think who else. Is Christian Bale? He's from Wales, right? Christian yeah. Bale is? He's Welsh? Um, he's Welsh, but he moved to London when he was like five or something. Gotcha. I'm not claiming him, though. I'm no, not claiming him. You're not claiming never him? seen him when he kicked off on, um, on the runner. And he started yeah. shouting at them in like an American oh, yes, accent as well. Yes, yes, he was. That was on Terminator, wasn't it? When he was just being John Connor. Yes, yeah. he was going nuts. Yeah. He was going. Oh, I got a good one. Idris Elba. He's the guy. Oh, he's a belter. He's yeah. great. Yeah. Got a cool. love it. Stinger Bell. I like. He's got a movie coming out where he fights a lion. Oh, I've just seen that on the flight when we was flying yeah. over. He'll forever be Stinger Bell. Do you mm-hmm. know what else he done that was really good? He done like a six month documentary about starting Thai boxing and then he had a fight in Thai boxing in Thailand oh really yeah it's a really he's like because he's done it you've got respect for him mm-hmm. you know what I mean for sure no for sure uh, Hugh Grant obviously he's he kind of disappeared yeah, a bit of a tool. he kept yeah. sleeping with prostitutes that didn't get caught yes, for it he got caught the dumb motherfucker mm-hmm. imagine having that much money and just yeah having to do that yeah. oh I got a good one uh, on this list Kate Beckinsale didn't even know she was English yeah oh. Well, didn't she Mad play like she was in Lost, did not she? What else did she play? She played like some like Wolverine. Yeah, thing. Underworld was it? Underworld, yeah. Where's she from? Ex- oh, yeah, she's from London. You sound like you're from London. That's what it says. No, I like her. She's very popular. It's here. like Russell Brand. Is she? Yeah. Dave's a big fan of her too. I, I one time live on the show, I, I made him uh, DM her. Did she answer? She didn't respond. <laughs> no. Is Russell Brand even big? Yeah. I think Do you know is. who Russell Brand is? Russell Brand, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Forgetting Sarah Marshall's hilarious. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. So you guys watch a lot of American movies then? Yeah. Yeah. I'm always watching films. And like, what do you, what do you, what kind of movies are you into? I, I watch into, any type of film. Me. We, I'm really into like sci-fi as well. Oh, really? But like, he's, you're not into uh, Star Wars, are you? No, it's not, I'm just, I've never watched them. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, people, I'm, I love like, realistic films and then I like ones that aren't you know what I mean it's like some of my favourite films like City of God okay and The Godfather's Goodfellas yeah. Once Upon a Time in America mm-hmm. um, The Prestige The Dark Knight yeah it's mm-hmm. one of my favourite films like I've got one of my favourite films is a French film called The Untouchables oh, okay you, you've it's seen that? Heavy film, it really pulls at your heartstrings. Lad, it's this. heavy <sighs> as you're crying on that. Lad, he's wearing Nike socks and Adidas trainees. He's got white socks on as well. Oh heavy God! Though. He's got white <laughs> socks on as well. It's just an American thing. It's sad, you know. Why you don't like white socks? No, Not high I ones. terrorize Blaze over wearing white socks on a day-to-day basis. Why? The black socks is. You can like... have like ankle socks. Yeah, yeah, you can have ankle socks with white socks. You can't see them. But they make your feet smell those black socks. Oh, no yeah. you don't, lad. Yeah, you really, oh, yeah. Is, is that the way, is that the, the the best excuse you could come up with off the yeah. top of your head? They like they don't black uh, socks make your feet smell. They don't breathe. Those things are They're just the exact getting... same thing, just a different color. No, no, no. Those yes, things... yes, 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 yes. No, no. Like, That's you... the, that is possibly the worst excuse I've ever heard no, in my they, life to why you wear them white I'm socks. I'm telling you, it, it makes your room please. smell like a ferret. Someone shall play so I can give him stick over it again and say to him, <laughs> "If you wear that shit, this excuse is my man's just come up with." That's the worst excuse I've ever heard. I'm telling you, it makes your room smaller. You like Yanks are just mad. You just wear white socks. No, what? So you just they cross brands as well. So, oh yeah, we do do that. Yeah, I'm very guilty of that. You don't like that? <sighs> like if you see me, everything I have is like has to match. Yeah, yeah. You've got a little bit of OCD with that. Like, don't you? Look at everybody. Oh, you do. Up, yeah. You even match your shoes. That's a nice old jumpsuit. Thanks. I like that. Lululemon shout out. You got a lot of tats too, Molly. I didn't realize that. I thought you were going to say Oh, tats. Tats. I'm only joking. No, she hasn't got... She's got a load of tats, but not a whole lot of tits. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. That can be the sound bite of this this (laughs) episode. That'll be it. That'll be it. How are you going to take... Do you take a nap after you eat these meals or no? Sometimes, lad. (laughs) It's like he's about to fall asleep now, isn't it? <laughs> I know. I'm, I told him, I was like, listen, we don't got to do this. I know you guys have... Uh, sometimes like, I'll fall... Sometimes we'll, I will have a nap. Like, ran after me fight to do. Like, after a fourth, I went to Wales with me with Laura for a, for two days with the dog. And both days, I uh, 
we went for dinner. Well, you call it lunch, or we call it dinner. Like in the daytime, when yeah. that's until we come back and went twelve as- till two. Went asleep both times. Just had a nap in the little cabin we were staying in. But uh, as I get used to eating more food, because my body gets more accustomed to it again, where I've been eating scraps. Yeah, I, I get used to staying awake. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, the sugar yeah. rush doesn't hit you as much. Since coming, I ate well yesterday last week in England, but since coming to America and just eating shit, I'm like this all day, and I'm like, oh my god, it kills you off. Yeah, it just like hurts. We keep, you. keep yawning because we're not used to the, the food. Yeah, you guys are just sluggish. You're just you're just hanging out. I have like three coffees a day at the minute. And I'm, <laughs> I'm on about eight cokes a day, <laughs> maybe more. Eight cokes legitimately. Legit. Really? Yeah, last night, where was the we eat last night? That, that like pizza five. place, that L- Luminelli's. Oh, yeah. yeah. Five I, cokes. I think I had five Pepsis. Wow. Just because the reefer lad, they just keep bringing them and out, And they're lad. big, too. Yeah, they just keep bringing it's them out, small. lad. Yeah. If you just it's keep bringing small. them out, when I finish them, I want to keep drinking them. Why, they don't get free refills in uh, No. No. Are really? It doesn't work like that by ours. Buy really? a drink, lad. You've got to buy the next one. And it's like little ones or no? Depends, yeah. Wow. Most of the time it's little ones though. I know, what the fuck. Yeah. So Bay in England's actually, you can get a free refill. Yeah, and that's the only one out of the fast food cafe so you can. Oh, really? What's it called? You can't. Subway? Subway. Oh, Subway. Fresh. What do you think about, I, I am so, uh, Subway throws me off a little bit. Yeah, Subway sometimes it's good, most of the time it's shit though. Yeah, but it like, I don't know how they're getting it, all this meat to all these places, you know? <sighs> I worked there for seven years. Did you? I did. That's where meatball comes from. Oh, no shit. Mm. I did not know that. Used to smell what like butty do you get? What do you say? If you go to Subway, what butty do you get? Uh, I would just usually get a, a ham and cheese, or I would just get... Uh, a BMT is a I, good yeah, one. Italian, That's what you B- get. Italian BMT or a chicken and bacon ranch. Chicken, bacon, ranch I would get yeah. too, yes. It's one of them too. Yes. I used to do... I'd get a foot long, and then I'd have like a club or a BMT on the left side. And then on the right side, I'd just put cheese. And then I'd put, like, we call them crisps, but fries in. So it's like a crisp, a fry sa- like sandwich. Mm-hmm. And then just loads of No, nah, you wouldn't cheese. put fries in it. you put crisp in it. Oh, crisp. Oh, chips, you call chips. it. Chips. Yeah, yeah chips. Oh, you Sorry, chips I'm getting mixed up with the words. No, that's all right. But, yeah, like a chip sandwich. Throw a couple dinky dunkers in there or no? No, I didn't have them. I'd, like, I'd get, like, three cookies okay. and microwave them so they're all soft oh, see that's what I mean I can go to Subway and just get 12 cookies <laughs> the cookies are good and they're just gone by yeah. the night 12, 12 cookies and they get it you guys got the Cadbury chocolate though right yeah that don't you, you don't have Cadbury do you we, we do but our you selection's the re- different and your recipe there's more sugar like I walk into a 7-Eleven and go fucking hell it just stinks of yeah. sugar uh-huh. yeah your chocolate shit yeah, your chocolate's definitely better. Yeah. I agree with that. The, the, what like is American it? chocolate snide. Nah, it's mad. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't taste It's just too much sugar in it. Yeah, the only decent American chocolate are Reese's. The Reese's are good. Yeah, Reese's. You, how about the uh, Kit Kat? You like that or no? No. no. Mil- Milky Ways. Milky Ways. Do you have Kit Kat Chunkies in America? A no. Kit Kat Chunky? I don't no. think so. No, that's Lad, not. I'm going to send you some. It's like... It's like this big. You need Just, a you need a whisper gold. So it's like a big one. Yeah, but fuck them, like this big. Oh, okay, we might have a similar thing. I don't know if it's a you big. Need it's the called a big gold cat. In your life. The whisper gold. Whisper gold. I don't know if I did the whisper. My, my friend. Cavities. What do you say? Cavities. Cavities. Yeah. Cavities. Cavities. So what you said before the chocolate, the type of chocolate. Cadbury. 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 Yeah, yeah. Cadbury. It's that. Oh, it is. Gold. I told you someone Caramel sent me a Sheffield bar. thing, and he brought in some chocolate too. Just do you have Kinder here, oh. Kinder Bueno? Kinder. Yeah, do you have Kinder Bueno? Yes, we do have Kinder. Yeah, we do have Kinder. Kinder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you have Kinder Bueno? Is that what for Kinder Bueno? I've seen Emmy, Emmy. Has Biscoff know. made it to America? Biscoff. Yeah, Biscoff was here like, first. Like, like um, no, I think it's from Europe. Like spread. Like I'll have that on a pancake. I think. I think so. I think we do have that. Or like cookie dough, Biscoff cookie dough. I never tried that. Ooh, and then you put ice cream on, and then Biscoff sauce. Shit. Wow. I that love desserts. Now you think I'll come with cookie dough. <laughs> Look at him, he's passing out. Uh, cookie, cookie dough, like, warm cookie dough. It's like a dessert. It's just, I don't think you can beat it, you know. No. Oh, cookie dough pies, have you as well? Have you ever had a cookie dough pie? No, we don't, I don't think we have that here either. It's How just like it, a piece of quiche. Like? It looks like a cheesecake. Yeah, just it's, of, so it's cookie dough pie. 
Get a picture up of the lads so we can show them. Cookie dough lads, pie. As, as you're eating it, you just feel like masturbating. Oh, yeah, you know, that's really good, huh? That is how good it is. That's, I gotta do that. I gotta get some cookie lad, dough pie. I gotta do some. It's next that. level shit, lad. Oh, when wow. You put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, let it melt. It's like that? Yeah. Oh, that looks like good. That. Just like that. It's like, like that. sex in like your that. mouth. That looks good. It's you, like sex in your mouth, lad. What I what about the uh so the the original I'm trying to think, what about a crunch bar? Crunchy. 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 You like oh, those? Crunchies are shit. I know what you mean. Crunch bars are different. They're the blue packet. Yeah. Crunchies are with like a, a gold. Lad. Yeah. Crunchies. Toffee are shit. crisp. Toffee crisp are all right. Bounties are shit. Crisp. Do you like coconut chocolate? No. Uh, what's that like? The, we Bounties. call them mounds, and we. Uh, it's okay. You're best not fucking like it. That's good. You're fucking disgusting. Uh, oh, if you yeah. like that, you're the fucking wrong one. It's uh, the uh, the mounds and the uh, almond joy. I like one of them. I don't know why. I, I like almond. Almond? Just not it. But, uh, coconut's disgusting, lad. Like milk. I don't like anyone who likes mint chocolate either. If you like mint chocolate, I don't like it. Oh, I, I feel like when you get older, you start liking it more. No. That's how no. I do. I feel like when we no. were kids, I'm 32, so he's younger than me. Mm-hmm. But we didn't have like all these different flavors ice cream. It was literally like Neapolitan chip yeah. or mint chocolate chip. Yeah, that is also used to be when you were little. Like. So I like mint chocolate chip no, ice mint. cream. You I guys, wouldn't pick it first, but I'd pick that over strawberry or banana ice cream. Mint is meant for toothpaste and chewing gum and Tic Tacs. Mint isn't meant for chocolate or ice cream or anything along them lines. I don't know. It Mint is it. not, it shouldn't be used in that way. It's blasphemy. It's, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to humanity. I feel like I am a mint today. Yeah, you are. Mint, mint chocolate chip kind of is are. disgusting. Even the shoes. Yeah. You guys ever take a picture on Abbey Road? No, we have not. Actually, we're the Beatles We're picture. from there, though, aren't we? Well, that's yeah. London, though, isn't it? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, my God. Did, Did you know that? Your picture, though? We've got the BT picture made. Have we? Remember the one with BT made? that was me, you, Aspinall, and oh, Alan yeah, yeah. We've got that one. Do you know I found out that there's a live stream on that street 24-7? No way, really? Yes. Well, I, I, hold on, let me find it. Live stream. They're just getting people. Mad. Isn't that cr- Look, right here. We're saying they should like... La- oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's wrong. That they way. should live stream <laughs> that wiener circle. Yeah, you heard what yeah. she says when she comes for you, that woman. Yeah, she rips the back out of you if she wants, like, doesn't she? Yeah, I saw that somewhere. I was like, I was so amazed. I was like, damn, they're really... They, they just got a 24-7 camera for everyone to watch. Yeah, that's I think um, the UK is one of the highest CCTV oh, yeah, places in the world. Oh, the fellow really? who made saw set that camera up. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Something proper weird like that. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe, it could be. But it, I heard it's a it's a busy street though, right? Yeah, it's yeah. just full of like American tourists or like Asian tourists who yeah. want to just go and get a picture. Yeah, there's a lot of Americans there, huh? We was in Dublin last weekend. It was just full of Yanks. Really. Dublin. Top of the we was in Dublin. Here. No vaping on the runway. No vaping on the runway. <laughs> no vaping on the runway. Do you like Ireland? Yeah, yeah. My family's all Irish. Oh, nice. Molly McCann. Molly McCann, that's right. Is he meatball? But do you, do you claim Ireland? Yeah. So what do you, so you're full Irish? No, like my dad and me nan and granddad were all Irish. Gotcha. So I'm the English So she's one. half Irish. <laughs> there you go. So I wait, wish I could be full Irish. Yeah, you think Irish is better? I don't know, I really love being from way, way from. It's better yeah. than being English, though. I, and I'm proud. Like, Ireland's just has took so much shit off the world and it's still there. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And their culture's just a happy culture, everyone. They like scouses. They love a drink. They're happy, funny, work really hard, mm-hmm. party really hard, and fight really hard. So, into the into Yeah, it. no, I know. There's a There's a lot of rain there, though, right? Yeah, well, it's a lot of rain all over the UK, lad. Yeah, we're guys, like we're twenty minutes on a plane f- from Liverpool to Dublin. Oh yeah, really? so it's literally like over so the water. The yeah. So you guys, does it rain every day where you're from? Not every no. day, but maybe say like two days out of the seven. Oh wow, mm, it depends. Some weeks it can be every day. <laughs> <laughs> Some weeks it can be every day. Some weeks it can be two days a week. You got a good rain jacket. I have so many coats. Yeah, we like, ride our bikes to the gym, so we have to have belts of water. Yeah, we jackets. don't drive cars, so we have electric bikes. Oh, no shit. 
Why yeah. do you have electric bikes? Why don't you just get a car? Because it's just stress of... I can't pass the theory test. <laughs> I've never tried to do either. Well, I've never tried to do it, but I just can't be bothered revising. Like, I went to college, I went to university, I went to school. I had 21 years of education. I don't want any more. We have to learn every day in the gym. Every day you have to learn. Yeah. Just, our partners just drive us everywhere. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's good. I mean, it's good. it's nice to have some people I know, yeah. taking care of you yeah. guys. That's great. They just tell you where to go and what, where to be, right? Well, we just get punched in the head up like pay for everything <laughs> so they can drive us everywhere <laughs> exactly yeah just tossing out elbows for so that i can, they can do that yeah that's great got to do nowadays for the price of petrol oh jesus yeah. and i was the gasoline gone up here oh it's crazy yeah no, right. but not compared to by ours it's cheap compared to by ours yeah yeah no and now like i don't know why it's so cheap like gas in america put it back home it's, it's just ridiculous. not really What's what's the prices now? So say it would cost about forty two, pounds two to pound fill a liter. And oh, how many right. liters go into a gallon? So that's like four dollars a. You got a, a fucking liter. translation calculator, uh, Harry? I don't know the. Uh, two pound a liter, a, a liter lad, and there's four and a half liters in a gallon, isn't there? Two pounds a liter, which is about three and a half dollars, three dollars fifty. Oh, okay. No, so it's less than that. It's like five something now. Oh, was yeah, it? Five five dollars. It's over five bucks. Oh wow. For us, yeah. Mm-hmm. Saying like one US dollar to, or uh, one pound to one point two one US dollars. So oh really? Pretty similar, I think, right? See, yeah. yeah. The recession's coming. So I'm fucking talking about recession. Nobody coming. fucking listens. That's but yeah, and how many liters in a gallon for and a half? Oh god, I'm not good at math. I'm not the guy for that. I don't read so good. You, you think the recession's, go off gallons, we recession's go off coming? Why you say that? Because our inflation's gone up to like. Crazy, nine nine right? percent. It's never been that since the war. Yeah. About four liters in one gallon. Three point seven. Four liters in one gallon. So there you go. For a for a gallon for us, it'd be eight pound. How much is it a gallon? So that'd be yeah. like eleven dollars. Five dollars. Yeah, it's like over five. So it's and eleven five. for us. Oh, eleven dollars. Wow, wow. Holy shit! How can that be? Because it's we're not way. in like Afghan's pocket. Oh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Yeah, we true. haven't got Saudi oil. Yeah. yeah, we haven't got loads of oil. Just <laughs> yeah. That's the reason. And true. then we've gone against Russia, so we haven't got their oil either. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, there you go. Yeah. But yeah, I think they said there might be a recession. We might be in a recession now. I think we definitely yeah. are. Like, we are to either. Where's uh like if I was going to Europe, where where's where do you guys like to go? Like what do you? Where, like, if I'm going anywhere in Europe, it normally be Italy. I've been about seven times. Oh yeah. That's my Amsterdam. favorite place. Amsterdam. Okay. Where? In, where <laughs> <laughs> what do you do there? That's the only legal Ooh, place to what do, smoke. What do you do there? <laughs> to smoke I don't know. and eat. <laughs> what do we do there? <laughs> <laughs> Ride bikes and walk and music. Nah, you don't even need to go there when you're in America because you can just go to Cali. So mm-hmm. I'd probably stick with Molly and go to Italy or something. What it, the smoke? You're saying? Mm-hmm. You yeah. could. It's legal here. That's never. Yeah. You're you're smart, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's, I mean, like in Cali, it's just always warm in it. Yeah. You can actually, go there for the Aldi. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I f- feel like in Italy. In the north, you've got the like mountains. I've never, I've never recommend you to go anywhere in the UK. No? Not really. really? Lake Cornwall, District, Cornwall. Cornwall. Just the weather's just... And Liverpool. Yeah, you don't know what you're getting with the weather, lad. Even if you come in August, June, July. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, lad. It can just rain. Penzance, though, if you keep going down from Cornwall, there's somewhere called St. Ives. And Penzance, and that's where all the pirates were, like, would stay. Oh, Saints really? Ives, lovely. That's probably one of the nicest places in England. Yeah, yeah. We go down there with the dog. I like the I like the way that Liverpool sounds though. I like the Scousers. You guys, you guys talk it up well. Lad, it's small though. Like yeah, for you, you should just be like, "What was that?" Eh? Really? You, should, you can drive around the whole Liverpool in about an hour. Oh really? It's like around the outside. Like the, the circumference yeah. is the way it. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. But mm-hmm. like about four hours to do that in Chicago. The culture Maybe that more. we've got in Liverpool is like it's a melting pot. Do you know what I mean? You have every walk of life just trying to earn a living. And yeah, I'd say that's similar to here. Yeah. In a sense, I would say. Um is uh where do you go in Italy? I've been everywhere from the top to down to the What's bottom. What's your favourite city? 
<clears throat> I've been to Rome and Milan. I think Verona. Verona. Mm-hmm. It's where um, what was what was written about Verona? Um, the Capriots and the Montagues. What is that? Romeo and Juliet. The oh, balcony is yes. actually there. Mm-hmm. Yes. The castles there, the food. Was there. romantic, I, huh? I liked Munich, me, you know. Munich? Yeah. What are you asked? It's proper, robust, and serious, and then you've got like Italy, that's like love language, like drink. I left Munich. Food. <laughs> Why? Liverpool won 3 1 as well, like, but I left Munich. Did you? And what, so what's, where have you been here now? You've been to Chicago now? I've been, we've been to, well, I've been to Chicago. San Diego, LA. Blew the mic up a little bit. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Chicago, San Diego, LA, Texas, uh, New York, uh, been somewhere else. I I'll count my states: New York, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Louisiana, Michigan, Colorado. You got you got a bunch. Um, Nevada, California. That was the place I was missing Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Florida. And Illinois. Illinois, yeah. And San Diego's got to be your favorite. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think Colorado was mine. Colorado's your favorite. Yeah, because it was just like. It's so different. Yeah, it was like spiritual. Like yeah, you've been to major there, though, haven't you? Yeah, I've literally only been to five. You know what I mean, yeah. Vegas, yeah, San Diego, LA, New York. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and Texas. That's it. But for three summers, I lived in Virginia, in a place called Manassas, which is like thirty minute drive from DC down. Um, but yeah, I used to come out here and train quite a lot, play football. Oh nice, soccer. That's Did you good. say Detroit State as well? Yeah, Michigan, not here. Yeah. Michigan. It's yeah. like this. I know, I know you've been to the Detroit. U- US is quick. I was staying on Nine Mile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nine Mile. Oh, nah. Nine Mile, motherfucker. It wasn't Eight mile, mile, but it was Nine. It was, it was nine next door. Yeah, it was next go. door, yeah. That's all right. You listen to some Eminem, I'm sure, where you live there. Yeah, 100%. My friend Amanda Bobby Cooper fought on UFC 218. Oh, okay. And I'd done the fight camp with him and was in a corner. And um, it was fucking sick because it was like... December and it's it's like here the 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 weather just one day we woke up and the snow was just like up to there yeah, and then when we was walking through like downtown Detroit and you just see like the the fo- the steam coming out of the floor uh-huh. I was like what this is proper America yeah mm-hmm. that, well that's what's cool about America it's like everything you, Colorado is so different but it's like with the landscape is oh, just and Arizona so different oh yeah. shit yeah the, I know sorry lads I know, we, we were there together. <laughs> The one place we've been together, yeah. we fucking both forgot. Yeah. The mountains, the desert, the ocean, the flatlands. That's you know, why, like, when America's, I'm like, I don't even know why you would leave. You leave the country, yeah. You've really? got everything in the one country. You don't need to leave America. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's everything, yeah. But we have to leave. And yeah. could you go to, like, the Dominican? Yeah, you could go pretty because easily. Because is that, like, an American uh, country? No, Puerto Mex- Rico is. Mexico, oh, Puerto Rico, right? yeah. Yeah. that's the one. Mm-hmm. Get down to Cancun. Yeah. <laughs> Tijuana. That's where the Canadians go. Is it? Yeah. They like Cancun, yeah. Oh, I like Cancun. I've been to Cancun. Yeah. I was in the spot. Dominican and everyone was in there. Hold on, Dave's calling me. Put him on loudspeaker. All right. Bitch tits. Hey, what's up, sir? You're live on the podcast. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to, since you you guys are all lazy with no plans, I'm just trying to figure out how to make sure everyone gets in there. I know you guys don't think of anything beyond your fucking nose on your face. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just on your podcast what, picking what, you up. What do you want to do with the tickets? Well, uh, I'm, walking, I'm walking Molly and Patty and Graham's all to their hotel, so they're going to have everything. 6.45, they're getting picked up. I'm getting picked up at 6.45. I don't know what the Chicago guys do. I know you guys just close your eyes and think everything will be taken care of for you. <laughs> no, it's not true. I'll, I'll come pick up. I'm here with Maddie, I'm here with Molly and Patty. Maddie. Okay. <laughs> Maddie. Yes. So they heard you say that. That's not right. Hi, boss. Well, they, they should know that's the truth. <laughs> I'll come. You're at, you're at your hotel? All right, I'll come pick up the tickets. Uh, Dave, for, what are you wearing? Huh? Ask him. What are you What are you wearing, Molly wants to know? I don't have, 
I know she has like glass. I don't have anything. I just have a normal attire for now. If I see yeah, something, nice, Dave. Okay. We, we, we just wear a normal attire. I've just got shorts and t-shirts on, lad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I just have jeans and like a shirt, but I, if I see weird glasses, I'll, I'll do it. All right, then. We'll wrap up then since we'll go get the uh, tickets. And, Elton uh, John, baby. Elton. I do. That is funny that, you know, he's from, yeah, I'm sure he plays in, or he played in England a bunch, but I you're seeing him in Chicago. I've seen him about two months ago in Anfield. That's right, yeah, but Molly's never seen him. Yeah, right? no, I was having an mm-hmm. argument with my girlfriend, so mm-hmm. couldn't go. So mm-hmm. she missed it, like little punk ass bitch. I know. Pussy. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, thank you guys for uh, coming on. No problem, lads. Anytime. I'm yeah. like um, hoping you guys enjoy Chicago. I hope we have a fun Enjoying night. Enjoying it so far. Lad. I'm looking forward. I've, got, I've still got a tie an Italian beef sandwich, lad. That's on the menu tomorrow. Yes, you Don't do. Don't know what's on the menu tonight. We'll see what's in the stadium, won't we? We'll see. We'll see we'll what's see. in the suite. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for listening. That's it. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Ciao.